I've had a person make just a very interesting request today, and it seems like it's a very simple thing, but let's maybe not for everybody. They're wondering how do you get video out of your GoPro Hero 3 into the computer, and how do you do firmware updates? Well, uh, I'll, I'll address the firmware updates in a minute, but for me, now what I have, I've had the kind of skeleton thing here, and here was one of the weaknesses I've covered about the GoPro Hero 3 before, um, uh, is that when you buy this little, uh, little skeleton thing here, which is, I like to mount this on, uh, little handles like that that you can get that's actually a handle for a zoom uh, h2 that i've got screwed into this i love to walk around and shoot video like that with it and it's really neat to be able to turn it real quick uh, but anyway the the skeleton for the gopro hero 3 does not allow you to get your card out so i actually took an exacto knife and i carved that little bit of plastic out of there so i can get my cards out so what I do, I take my pinky nail and I reach down there, I push that, it's kind of spring loaded. And then the card comes out and I'll show you what you do with it. So I've popped the card out and you've got these uh, little adapters. If you get, I got a sand disc here, so you can see what I'm using, a 32 gig uh, right here, gig card. That's actually not the card that's recommended now. Go to their site and go to support and give you a list of cards that are uh, kind of recommended. Some of the freezing issues that happened in initially with the GoPro Hero 3 were partly firmware, I think, and that's fixed most of my problems, but also the fact that uh, they did not give you recommended cards to begin with. It's kind of a bad show on GoPro's part. I wish they'd tested some cards and found out for sure which ones worked. In the early days of getting the Hero 3, you just went out there willy-nilly and started buying cards. So this is not the most highly recommended. It is a Class 10. So I'm going to put it into this little slot right here, and I'm going to stick it in my computer, and I'll show you what we do with that. Thing. So here is that uh, little card inserted into a SanDisk adapter. Now you can alternately get um, yeah, an adapter thing that plugs in by, via USB, and you can just plug these in at home on my home computer. I actually have one that these will fit into. I think it's Kodak that makes it. So I'm going to put it here in my uh, card slot. Okay, so of course here's what's going to pop up once you get your card in there. And uh, so I've brought it up here and I can see what's in there. And here you can see where I've done a firmware update. I'm actually shooting this one with this video with a second Hero 3, so that's where I've done the update. And uh, but anyway, what you're going to do, you're going to DCIM 102 GoPro. And there's going to be your files. Now you can test it. I shot this and here's what it is. It's, a, it's me doing a test. It's a video test and that's all that it is. Thanks. So here I have a folder, an empty folder. I'm going to drag that. The way you do it, you just drag this over. And you get these little LRV files, which actually are MPEG-4 files. Those are preview files for uh, if you've got, you can drag that in there too if you want to, but I don't typically do that. If you change that to, uh, just change the setting on this to MP4. Check this out. Let's see if we can change this. Okay, so I changed the name of that file just so it wouldn't, uh, uh, like an S, just arbitrarily. Now I'm going to change this to .mp4 at the end. And now what you've got is you've got a uh, another MPEG-4 that's a very small version of your test. So right here, this uh, it's kind of if you if you like to keep these to see little video previews, you can do that. So that's how you do it. You just uh, insert the file uh, or the insert the card. This will pop up eventually. You go into uh, of course you go here again. It's going to come into DCIM that, and you're going to drag that over into whatever folder you want to put it into on your hard drive. And if you want to keep the LRV file, the LRV file after retitling, you don't want to, you can't title this MP4 and it take the place of this one because it's your high def file. But if you change it to something, whatever you want to call it, and if you want to keep the small version, you can keep it. I very rarely do. So I'm going to delete that from here. And then you go to delete all this, control A. I'll delete these. Yes. Now I've got a blank card that I can stick back into my GoPro Hero 3. Now to the subscriber who wanted to know how do you do your uh, uh, updates, well, you simply just go here to the GoPro Hero 3, gopro.com forward slash support. And then you go here to where it says Hero 3 camera software updates. Now, I'm not going to try to show you how to do this. This is something where you go here and they have a very nice, handy little video that, that will walk you through every single step of it. And so here's where you find all your firmware updates. And it's really simple. No need for me to, to reinvent the wheel. They do it so well here. 
and plus it will possibly change in the future too. It may not be that this is the way that it's done or the way that I show you today how to do it. It's probably not the way it's going to be in the future. So that's it really. That's how you do your firmware updates here and I would recommend you keep up with those. They give you new field of views, new recording options. They improve uh, things that hang up and it's really made a difference with my GoPro Hero 3s. They all work really well now. So there you go folks. That's how you get uh, your data into the computer. Now the, the next step of course is you have to have something to edit the software with and GoPro does give you a um, uh, what's called Cineform Studio where you can go here and you can uh, download a, a program that allows you to do some rudimentary editing. It's pretty good. You can also edit then on YouTube if you like to uh, but if you want to do like professional quality editing uh, you know, do a really nice job of it. I recommend Premiere Pro CC. I use the entire uh, Adobe Premiere suite now. So those are my best recommendations to you at this point folks. Happy video editing and shooting out in the world.